Hey guys, it's Terrence from Space Coast Tortoise. I'm here with my good friend Lindsay. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> and why don't you tell us a little bit about your friend here? Yeah, sure. So this here is Nellie. Uh, she is an American barn owl. And if I check the date here really quick, uh, I think she's only about three months old right now. Uh, she was hatched on May 21st. Oh my goodness. Uh, so <laughs> she's still kind of laying, like getting the lay of the land in the world and uh, you know, growing her adult feathers out and everything. So uh, as a three month old owl, there's a lot to learn, especially being outside and seeing new people like my friend Terrence here. So it's pretty exciting. Uh, these guys are found pretty much all over America, hence their name. And they are pretty specialized little hunters. Um, and I actually raised her from a chick. Uh, she is pretty cool. She's something that we call imprinted, which means that she was raised like literally from an egg all the way up until what you see now, which is her adult plumage. Um, imprinted owls are actually excellent ambassadors. She is really calm, cool, collected. She doesn't mind being touched and hanged out with. <laughs> uh, and she's pretty cool in that regard. Uh, I definitely advocate for imprinted owls as ambassadors, but otherwise, we'll talk about the American barn owl for a minute. Uh, they're super specialized hunters. You'll find these guys typically hanging out around like flatlands, grasslands, uh, and their favorite food in the entire world is mice. Uh, this little girl loves mice. She eats about two or three mice a day, uh, and I intersperse her feedings probably every few hours, I guess, just to give her some enrichment time and stuff to play with. Uh, but these guys will actually hover over those grasslands with her super long wings and super short tail. Uh, and then they will use their hearing, not their eyes, in order to find mice that are kind of scurrying through the grasslands. Um, so yeah, she's pretty cool. Cool. I have a lot of other stuff. What do you want to hear about? <laughs> oh, just rant. <laughs> so another cool fact about American barn owls is their ears are actually not symmetrical like ours. Mm -hmm. So in order for her to hear stuff, you know, she's doing this all the time. <laughs> she's like, what's going on? I'm trying to hear stuff. Um, but one ear is actually up here and one ear is actually down here. Really? So that allows not only to hear like what's on either side of her, but what's below her and above her without having to like do all this number when they're flying. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? She's like, yeah. <laughs> now, I noticed that on her claws, would you call them? Talons. Talons. Yeah. Uh, she has two in the front and two in the back. Yes. So barn owls are pretty cool along with most owls. Typically, birds of prey have three uh, toes in the front and one toe in the back. Owls are something that we call zygodactyl, which means she's got two in the front and two in the back, or they can switch. So they're kind of like, they do cool. this. <laughs> <laughs> so that allows them like full mobility in grabbing their prey with that extra toe. Uh, it's pretty cool. I like it. Cool. And if you look really close, you can bring the camera in if you want there's little tiny hairs on her toes. Mm -hmm. So those hairs that she has on her toes, your face is in the way, little girl. Uh, she has those same exact hairs on her bill and like around her face. So those hairs are like super specialized at hearing sound, basically. It's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. So like, I wouldn't say their toes can hear, but their toes can feel like, it's almost like a cat's whiskers. Uh -huh. They can feel those Subtle like vibrations. super micron yeah. vibrations. And that's for that last instant. So like her vision is not very good in this range. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's excellent, like from here to here. <laughs> uh, but like once she's coming in at that final approach to a mouse, she actually is using these more than she's using her eyes. That's pretty wild. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super into that. That's one of my favorite owl facts. Cool. Right? You're so cute. So this that I'm doing here, um, she's still kind of young, so she's kind of getting used to like being outside and being with new people like Terrence and, you know, just being an overall good ambassador. Mm -hmm. So this, when I touch her uh, and I touch her face and all that stuff, typically, like if this was a bald eagle, I would not be doing that. Um, but that's because in the wild, bald eagles typically don't partake in something called alloprening for their whole life. Mm. Um, alloprening, the words literally mean preening together. So allo is like together. Um, so these guys for their whole life with their mate um, will actually preen each other. Uh, and that allows her to get places like up here where she can't really reach with her bill. That's adorable. Um, so this is actually positive reinforcement for Nellie. Um, so that means I don't have to use food or a clicker or anything like that if we're out in public. 
I can just simply reach up there and give her a little scritch and she's like, oh, I'm doing the right thing. Cool. Cool. And with raptors, we only use positive reinforcement. Mm -hmm. um, they don't really understand any sort of like negative punishment, negative um, reinforcement, or even positive punishment. Mm -hmm. They only understand positive reinforcement. So she does something good, instantly gets a reward, and then if that is just repeated over and over, we get a cute little ambassador who <laughs> <laughs> knows how to pose for the camera. Little bean. She's like, I hear so many things out here. <laughs> Another um, interesting fact about owls is people always, you know, you hear stuff, the wise old owl. Mm. Um, <laughs> if you're looking at Nellie, you may think, well, she doesn't look very wise. <laughs> she just <laughs> looks really cute. So owls are not considered a more intelligent species. They're actually one of the more unintelligent species of raptors. Really? Um, if you look at their head, she's got a lot of feathers so her head looks about this big right uh her head shape is actually only about this big she's just covered in a lot of feathers and her eyes actually take up over two-thirds of the space in her head so her brain is probably only about that big <laughs> compared to like a bald eagle who's almost their whole head is taken up by brain they're a little bit smarter not as smart as other eagles but <laughs> about the size of a uh, garbanzo bean yes, yes. <laughs> a little garbanzo bean nugget in there right she's like please don't humiliate me <laughs> not in front of the masses uh, so yeah they're not super intelligent but they are super well adapted to uh, what they do in the wild uh, so oftentimes you've heard me say that working with imprinted owls is far better than working with wild owls. Mm -hmm. Wild owls are so like ingrained in what they do that it's really hard to kind of like adapt them to this like human lifestyle for ambassadorship or even like falconry type uses. Um, some people will take wild owls right out of the nest, which is legal for falconers to do, uh, mm -hmm. raise them and all that stuff. Um, but Nellie here was actually bred in human care, so she's got this little band on her that says, Hey, I was born, like, in a breeding facility, so please don't release me. <laughs> uh, and that allowed us to raise her straight from the egg, so. Oh my god. <laughs> so when she does that as a baby, when she's doing, like, all this, since she's so young, she is trying to get a lay of the land with not only her eyes, but her hearing. Uh, and babies are a lot more exaggerated than adults. So adults will kind of just be like, hey, what's going on? Babies will like use their whole head <laughs> and like, what's going on? Oh, this is what I like to call owl yoga. Uh, so this is her stretching out her wings. Uh, and that means she's pretty relaxed, honestly. She's doing really good for this. I'm so proud of you. Well, thank you very much for your time. Of course. And showing me this beautiful owl. Of course, anytime. <laughs> And I'll definitely be coming by when you get that kestrel. Oh my gosh, sure. I'm so excited. <laughs> I cannot wait.